Welcome to the Shine Your Light podcast. Woo, woo, woo. I am your host, Lachelle Hooks, once again. And we are here to discuss something again so dear to my heart. We're here to discuss dating with purpose in 2022, y'all. Not 2021, not 2020, 2022. I have some special kings here with me today that are going to help me kind of break down this topic um, I'm actually going to allow you guys to introduce yourselves today. It's such an honor to be in y'all presence. All this masculinity, y'all, uh, is so wonderful. Um, let's start off with the wonderful Xavier Antonio. Can you tell us, um, you know, just a little bit about what you do once again and also your reason for being here? <laughs> As you said, I'm Xavier Antonio. Um, I do a lot of different things. Um, I do... Uh, PR, marketing, singing, poetry, just writing all together. But like ultimately, I'm, I'm just more of a, a organizer. That's what I am. I bring people and resources together. Um, my reason for being here today is really just to enjoy some some awesome, awesome dialogue. You know what I mean, I think we're talking woo about, woo. We're talking about <laughs> dating. I definitely have some things to say. Yeah. Um, if we're talking about purpose. I, even more so I have things to say so amen yeah. to that amen to that so glad to have you here King um, and excited to hear what you have to say now we're gonna move on to the wonderful Jamar woo 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 go ahead and tell us a little bit about yourself King how y'all doing I'm Jamar Steve I'm a fitness guru if you want to say that yeah getting into my fitness a whole lot Gene specialist I'm I'm here yeah. He's gonna be my new trainer, y'all. He's gonna be my new trainer. He don't even know a chat. I'm I'm here to speak on relationship um guidance and all different types of things and, and some things that could probably help me in a relationship as far as what to do and all that type of things. And that's pretty much about it. Yes, Lord. We certainly appreciate your presence um and all the information you're gonna provide today. Y'all are here to shine y'all light on these topics okay and then we have the podcast king in the building yeah yeah we we got derek in the building go ahead derek tell hey, us what it do hey how y'all doing i'm derek nash senior um i currently have a podcast with um three other women it's called ruffle feathers podcast um as far as what i do uh i can't really explain it. I, i'm a jack of all trades you know i got i'll be doing a lot of different things um <laughs> And the reason I'm here, I just want to uh, give my insight, you know, how dating is supposed to be in Milwaukee. You know, it's dating in Milwaukee is different. And, you know, you got to be you got to be cut and built different to deal with dating in Milwaukee. I'm going <sighs> to tell you some hey, everybody wife ain't in Milwaukee. So listen, they done built me. OK, they done built me to last. <laughs> OK, <laughs> for, and I just got a for it. So, yes, I am for it. Tough. In Jesus name. So today, guys, you know, typically what I do is kind of share some story some story, excuse me, um, about, you know, different situations that we've gone through that have um, helped us to become better individuals. But today we're going to play a little game. We're going to switch it up. We're going to play a little dating game, if that's OK. Um, so basically, it's not really a game. It's it's a game, y'all. So basically, I'm going to um, ask you guys questions and you just give me, you know, your input feedback um, on these different questions discussion questions are y'all ready now before we start though i know y'all see those little shell bills on the table i call them shell bills y'all <laughs> shell bills 
<laughs> so um, with any question that I have to ask y'all, if you feel like maybe, you know, you would prefer to shy away from that question, maybe that question is a little bit too much for you to answer. I want you to ring the bell. Okay. Now, um, when I thought of this idea, um, a movie actually came to mind. I love this movie. This movie is called G.I. Jane. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yep. Um, basically, there was a, a scene where this beautiful um, woman, she's in the Navy surrounded by um, only men. Um, she's the only woman. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and they were, you know, they were going through these different drills and those drills were were assigned to bring the best out of them. Right. Um, for any reason, if you felt like it was too much to you, you had to ring the bell. OK. So at any point in time, if that question is too much to you, if you want to surrender, I want you to ring that bell. Do you want to just go ahead and just so the listeners that can't see the bells can um, hear the shell bell? That's the shell bell, y'all. So that means they surrendered that's on a like, question. That's like a flag on the play. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to the creativity. Right. That's, that's like the Jerry B. I, I thought we was going to ring it if we, if we wanted to answer the question. Right. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or a buzzer. Like a, or a red buzzer. Okay. A lot of creativity in this shell, y'all. In this shell. So, first question is: I'm going. I'm going to start with you, Derek, and then we're going to oh, go man, around. Man. Yeah, you the podcast master. Yeah, master. King, yeah. King. Start with me. Let me hear it. Yeah, let me. <laughs> okay. Tell me I edit this out. Let me hear it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. First question is: Again, it's dating for purpose in 2022. What is your purpose? Some people, um, their purpose is marriage, and and some people is simply to get to know other people and just date. Mm -hmm. What is Derek's purpose for dating in two thousand twenty two? Uh, my pur my purpose is marriage. Uh, I mean, I'm, yes, about, I'm about to be forty years old in May. Like, I mean, look good, King. If, like, don't if, crack. If, if marriage ain't the goal, then what we doing? Amen. I'm wasting time. I mean, marriage actually been my goal. I mean, I've been I've been engaged a couple times, so you know, it, that's always been my goal. So. Amen. Amen. So before we move on, you said you've been engaged a few times. Mm -hmm. Okay. Why didn't that work out? What would you say? Um, Y'all know I like to ask questions. It's kind of hard. I can't really say, it. you know, okay. you, I mean, I got as far as getting invitations made. And okay. Finding the venue. Okay. And I'm going to add, I want you to remember um, what we're at this topic right now, because I'm actually going to ask a follow up question pertaining to that. Um, and I appreciate y'all honesty. You know, mm -hmm. this is all love and this is all um, for growth. You know, everything that we're, we're doing here today, everything that, that we're saying, even though it can be fun, it has purpose. OK, um, so remember that. And I'm going to ask you a follow up question in just a bit. Mm -hmm. All right, King. Jamar. So, what's up what's I'm up you over there all relaxed and stuff yeah yeah what is your purpose for dating in 2022 king well right now i'm gonna say as far as trying to find a female to build with it's it's kind of hard out here trying to find two people to come together and actually try to build because nowadays how it is people go off your past and all that type of things and you know people was kids so you know sometimes you just got to grow from that trying to find somebody I can build with. Yeah. Take trips. Yeah. And do all different types of enjoy, fun. Enjoy, have yeah, fun, fun, and enjoy live your life. life. All enjoy you got to do is live your life. That's all I'm trying to do. Get yeah. this credit together, get my kids together, and build an empire for myself and my kids. Yeah, but it sounds like you're looking for a partner for your Definitely. kingdom. He's building a kingdom, y'all. Man, trying to. I already got it. the kingdom with the kids already. Amen. So. <laughs> Amen. And you're single, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma would you would you allow me to pair you on a blind date? <laughs> you know what? Hold that thought. We're gonna talk about that later. This is a hot commodity right here, y'all. Uh my my new personal trainer. He don't know it yet. We're gonna talk about your prices. I done tried to get you to work out with me before. You did. I wasn't ready then, y'all. You ain't have to say that on camera now. Hey, you say actually huh? anything. Oh dang, dang. <laughs> we ain't gonna next. Um, <laughs> Next, now we have the king of poetry, y'all. This uh, his songs are just amazing, 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 talented. 
um, artist, songwriter, just uh, king of uh, creativity, one of one of the kings of creativity. Amen. So, King, what is your purpose for dating in 2022? Let's hear it. Well, first of all, I'm not dating in 2022. I'm not dating either, y'all. <laughs> I'm, I'm not, not dating, dating either. either. I'm not dating, <laughs> not dating nobody. I'm not having it. You know what I mean? But um, you have you, you had yeah. these, you never heard, you know, tell God your plans if you want to hear him laugh or whatever. Um, I don't know if I don't know if I have a, a purpose right now. You know what I mean? Like in in dating. Like I know what it is that I would, you know, like to have and like to accomplish. Um, and of course, you know, it's marriage and all that, but it's the it's the idea of um being like madly in love with somebody. Like, um, I've been there, you know what mm. I mean, twice before. Um, you know, sometimes you get your heart broke, you go through different things, especially as, as men. Well, everybody, like, we'll be so quick to be like, oh, we ain't doing that again. Or we might feel like, man, I'll never find that again. Um, I feel like oh, I'm, I'm a definitely, I can definitely find it again. I can. And I can definitely love like that again. Um, but if I were to, powerful. But if I were to be dating, I wouldn't necessarily be expecting that. Like, to, you know, you can't, that's not something you can expect. You, know I mean? you know, you don't date with expectation. I've learned to live my life in its entirety I, with expectation. Yeah, I've done that. You've done that. You know how we talk. We, you know, we, I know the, it's the, a, the we talking session, good. It's a good talk. Last yeah. session, you know, you know, our way doesn't always work sometimes. Mm-hmm. Amen. You, you know right. I mean? and, 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 and expectation lead to disappointment time sometimes. Can, can be un, mm-hmm. can be so unfair. You be careful you know with expectation. To, it can be unfair to you. It can be unfair to the other person to have a, this. Now, you can want what you want, but... Don't be trying to teach me on my show, Derek. But, 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 <laughs> no, for real, though. Expectations <laughs> do lead to disappointment sometimes. You can't mm-hmm. really go out there expecting a certain... You just gotta... You gotta... No. It's, it's all about... Let me, let me get to know you. Like, that's just my approach to it now. Yeah, I want that. And the reality of it is, if 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 it's not that, then that's not somebody I'm going to marry anyway. So in dating, it's like, well, I'm going to just get to know you for you, not for what I want in my life. Let me just get to know where you are, not, can, not be mad at you for being there, not be overly excited about where you are. Just get to know you because, you know, it, it may not be a marriage type of situation. You might just be a friend or there may be, you know, other options available to us. You know what I mean? We ain't got to yeah, yeah. put ourselves in this box. You know what I mean? I think you can miss out on a I'm a good person with certain expectations. Amen. Oh, yeah, yeah. God yeah. is not in the box, yeah. y'all. He is not in the box. Yeah. All right. No one rung the shell bell on that question. Very simple, right? The first y'all question. not afraid. Yeah. yeah. We ain't 21. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Y'all ready for the next? Nice and easy breezy, y'all. Do you, Derek? Me again. Huh? You again. Pod King. Do you believe in love at first sight? No, I don't, I don't. I really don't. I, I don't think no. You're gonna fall in love with a person on the first time you see them. Mm-hmm. Now you might. Now here's the thing. You might. You might fall in love with a. Uh, with like a, the way they look. Like so, that's a lust. That's not a love. That's Falling a lust. in lust. Mm. Yeah, hey, everybody mm. lust. That's just like saying if a, if a dude is married to a woman, but he see another woman out in a bikini, you looking at her, you got a lust for her, but you don't want to bring her home to meet mama. Keep your eyes to yourself. You married. No, I'm, just, I'm just saying, though. Y'all be looking? You can look. look. You can't touch. touch. The women look, look too. You can look, but can't touch. I mean, but I'm, on, saying, <laughs> but I'm saying, I'm saying, though. I'm I do not, love a beautiful that's, woman. That's not bring you, but you might think, dang, she got all that on her little butt out, but I don't want to bring it home to mama. Amen. Yeah, Amen. We on the beach. And- Girl in bikini walk past me. This sand look real nice. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> yeah, it is better. I mean, you better, well, you better hey, know it. Again, Count hey, the sand. Again, nowadays, you got women that might tell you before you say. She might say, she might say, "Dang, man, she look. She got a nice look." Oh yeah, you should do. I know a lot of women like that. Um, I appreciate beauty um, in its entirety, but I, I don't see me and my my spouse um, gawking at um, individuals. But that's probably because I've been gawked at by um, people in relationships. So mm-hmm. I don't know about yeah, that. I but, that. I re- but I respect that at the same yeah. time because at the end of the day, we in 2022. You know what I mean? It's so, the difference between seeing yeah. and, and like lusting after. Yeah, yeah. Now, now I'm not going to be with my wife and say, yeah. hey, man, man, she look nice. No, I'm just going to have my darkest glasses on. 
You know, you go out of town, you got the Honesty. birthday you know, Hey, you women, women look too. Y'all yeah, y'all look, do. Y'all look at men. Listen, dudes can see that woman. All Listen, time. a dude can see a dude, a dude can see another dude go past. You can look at your woman and you look at her. And she, ah, she that ain't eyes. me. No. Nope. Yeah, you come on. Nope. No. Because I, I, I watch her do this. She do this. No, no. you you yeah, go look. I, 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 I had a girlfriend who it's did just this. that's like, never been that's just being, not me though. So that's just never been Lachelle. Um, but I do, but I understand what y'all are saying. But yeah. fit the physical attraction of a person has never really enticed me. Um, it's always their yeah, um, yeah. intellect. Well, it, well, that, well, that's a, well, uh, that's a bonus when the, the looks is a bonus. Yeah, that, exactly. You know, when your heart, you check your heart, your heart is good, then the looks is a bonus. But it's just like if you, that's just like if you on social media. Mm. And you know if you got a nice looking woman, a nice looking woman ain't really for the week. Meaning that if a dude got an attractive woman, you know, dude's gonna be trying to talk to her. It ain't about what they saying, it's about what she responding. And who she is. Yeah. You know, and, and I understand you're saying that an attractive woman is not, you know, for the week. However, meaning that you can't be a jealous type of person amen. because people are going to try her. They going, amen. you can't expect that yeah, she's gonna be out all day, yeah, with leggings on, them shiny ones that women be wearing. You know, I'm talking about them shiny <laughs> ones that look like uh <laughs> that look like patent leather or something. Mm, on I got a fan. And she wearing, amen. Yeah, amen. She yeah. Wearing them, you can't expect that she's gonna be at yeah. Walmart by herself, yeah. and no one's gonna look. You can't expect that. Okay. Now I'ma just because I kind of go off the questions too. Do you prefer your um and she better be, you know, nice and solid mm -hmm. and not um entertaining the men either, ladies. Um, but do you prefer your woman to dress very modestly and, and super covered, or do you feel like she can be her natural uh, self and and um, where would she wanna wear? Well, Especially in eighty degree weather, ain't nobody got time. Well, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, it's some stuff that's kind of, you know, some women I've seen some that's inappropriate. Okay. But now, if you with me, then it's, exactly. it's sky's the limit. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Listen with, to yeah, this, y'all. If you with me, it's sky's the limit. But if I'm not around, I might be like, hey, were you? You know what I'm saying? That's like. That's like me going out with the great sweats on. You don't want me out with them yeah. on, do you? Unless I'm with you, right? Yeah, because you're attracting a certain type of, yeah. you know, attention, a level of attention. And you kind of got to expect that in that attire, gotcha. especially with them gray sweatpants. My man, I ain't wearing no gray sweatpants ever, <laughs> ever. He can wear them with you, though, maybe. He maybe. We'll see. We'll see. I guess I can be like, this is mine. Wait, listen, how y'all feel about the gray sweatpants? This is how we feel about some women with them leggings and, you, and, you know, and they got the... I get it. You know I, I get mean. it a hundred percent. I get it. Y'all got something in the front too. Amen. Amen. <laughs> but they don't need to see what uh, my king's working with. But Lachelle, that's probably why Lachelle's still single, y'all. I'm still working on some with. stuff. <laughs> no, I don't know. They gonna. Mm. But no, you're. But you're right. You're absolutely right. One hundred percent. And again, we in 2022, y'all. So people, I always say everybody is entitled to their happy place. Uh, whatever makes you happy, whether it's what you wear, you know, how you carry yourself. Everybody is entitled to what makes them happy. When we um, tell a woman what she can and can't wear, that puts her in a box. Typically, she's not going to be happy all the time. She's not free. You know, same thing with a man. And you're not, and you shouldn't, Lord. You shouldn't be with anybody that you don't trust, um, you know, when they're not with you or just trust to be themselves and themselves are, um, is solid. You know, so wonderful question. What was the question I asked? I was loving first. I was sight, gonna, Lord. Gonna, hey, listen, you was gonna, <laughs> have, hey, you was gonna have me. Hey, listen, I was gonna say this last thing. You was gonna have me going. So nowadays, right? Yeah, go for it. A lot of people are looking for help instead of love. Facts. That is facts. A lot so of men are looking to, for mothers. A lot of women are looking. Yeah, you for have to make a decision fathers. because a lot of you got to think when you know if a woman looking for help instead of love is if you with me and I come home and say, "Yeah, baby, I got a problem. Something happened. Like, what happened?" I lost my job today. And she asked, well, what you going to do? Because, you know, I ain't about to be, you know, you're going to have to. So I got to leave. So that means I was here for help. Mm. If you my woman and you love me, you should be like, well, you know, I got us until you get back. Yeah. Get it together. Because sometimes okay. shit like that happens. Yeah. But a lot of these women, they'd be like, well, what you going to do? Okay. What you mean what I'm going to do? I, I... <laughs> so that means I was here for the help with the bills. This ain't love. Okay, so let's let's discuss this real quick because I actually interviewed a young lady um, for blind dates today, who also may be my new real estate client. Shout out to First Weber Realtors, woo woo. First Weber, woo woo. Um, but she, we we were discussing exactly what you just said, and I gave her an example. Um, now, if a man has been without a job and living with his mom for five years, that is a different story. However. 
However, in a situation where um, things happen with men and women, and you absolutely should hold your man down and have his back because if you don't, another woman will. For one, and, and here's and here's another thing, Shell. This, I'm gonna let I'm say this, and then I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say this, and I'm gonna let you get back to you. So it's just like this, right? You free here, King. Now, uh, dudes, you can have a woman, right? Put her through nursing school, all that, pay for everything, you know, and everybody will say, you know, that's just a that's a real wonderful man. man. Right put there. me through you, school. He the oh. best man ever, right? But. She ain't going to put me through school. If she put me through school, her friend's going to say she a fool. She feels less than. And a lot of women do that. And then when they get through school, all of a sudden, you're like, baby, can you cook me? I ain't cooking. You're like, hey, whoa, whoa, what's going on? Like, now you got your stuff. You don't need me no more. And that's why you the pod king, because I'm actually, I got another question. You go going ahead, into my questions. That's another follow-up question to I'm, hear I'm, about I'm, that one, okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm done. Remember I'm done. that I'm one, done. though. I, I need you to remember that one. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Jamar. Do you believe in love at first? I already saw you shake your head no, baby. But go ahead, Tim. No, I don't believe in that. Okay. Not at all. That's <laughs> that ain't nothing but I just like he did. said. Lust. Lust. It's it's that's all lust, it is. Man. It's it a, ain't no way you can just be deeply in love with somebody just by seeing them and nope. you don't know them. No. Nope. What if it's just like again, because mm -mm, I, nope. I didn't mm -mm. it ain't mm -mm. no because because this is the thing, you can see it. Spiritual you, connection, just a strong, yeah, just, I mean, oh. You can be that, but you can have a good time. not a love. Okay. Because it could be a thing where, right, you see a woman, she attractive, and you be wondering, damn, why is she single? And you get it's with her, right? with You get to kicking me with her, and you get to seeing her. That's why. That's why. Mm. You know what? I was with this beautiful model, <laughs> and she said, real quick, she said, Shell, I don't know what, what made her tell me this. She was like, Shell, sometimes when I, uh, she's a gorgeous woman, gorgeous, chocolate, beautiful woman. She said, Shell, sometimes when I start being myself, you know, they kind of look at me funny. I said, that's because you're with the wrong one. You need to be with someone who loves you authentically for you and not just your physical, your, your physique, you know, your physical um, and I think that's where a lot of women go wrong, you know, regardless of what your natural personality is, go with someone who loves you for you and not just what you look like. And that's what dating is for, for us to learn each other's personalities. Ain't none of us all supposed to be this. I ain't like nobody out here and I ain't show ain't like none of y'all, mm -hmm. but I love y'all, you know? So you just have to get to know that individual and see what's perfect for you. Yeah. I'm perfect for somebody, but I know. Yeah, I'm a lot. I don't know. We're going to pray for my king wherever he at. Right. We're going to pray we for all, him, we, Lord. We all, we all a lot. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Like, you know, you just, you, you I know. got a lot of good stuff, though. It's a, a lot, lot of women got walls again. built up. You know? Amen. But it take the right man to come and break them, take them bricks down one by one. He going to need God for these bricks, Lord. I mean. He going to need something. Okay. I appreciate you for answering that, Jamar. So Jamar doesn't believe in love at first sight, but we'll see when I hook him up on this blind date. Okay. Okay. And then King, don't you be quiet over there. Mr. Xavier Antonio, do you believe in love at first sight? Mm. Uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Sit back. No. <laughs> I'm going to answer that. I feel like if, 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 you, if, you, if you 27 and older, you believe in love at first sight when you first see a person. You should probably go see a psychiatrist. <laughs> <laughs> what if you're just a Church woman of faith? Moon. And you just feel like God is going to be like, boom, right mm -hmm. here. That's the problem. Nah. Uh, he that, sure ain't did it. Now, when you first see a person, no. Now, when you first see a person for real, that's different. Oh, yeah. that's yeah, powerful. Yeah. We finna get into yeah. that right now. So yeah. let's get into it. Okay. Next question. I'm gonna start with you, right. Mr. Antonio Xavier. Um, mm. representative, representative, how long before you feel like you can be your authentic self with the person? Is it right away initially, or are there some layers there? I got layers, y'all. Go ahead. Yeah, I mean, every layer is an authentic piece of yourself. You, I, yeah. I think that. We're always showing a person our authentic self. Like Amen. even even if your authentic self is a manipulator, you know what I mean? Like whatever. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're always it's layers. You know what I mean? You're always showing a person your authentic self. Now, as far as like it take time to to really get um, I think comfortable, just period. It, it really takes time to get comfortable around new people anyway. So 
Awesome. So. Awesome. Thank you so much. So Mr. Antonio Xavier is always his authentic self. Every layer, every layer that's peeled. Amen. Amen. Or displayed, I should say. Mr. Jamar. I should have hopped on over there today. No, I'm glad. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> Mr. Jamar, so how long before um you feel like you can be your authentic self and just be comfortable with a woman and just be Jamar? Or do you have your guards I, up initially? What's going on? I got my guards up to a certain extent. Mm -hmm. So as far as like the dating, you go with the dating and if things crack in with the dating and thing like that, you, you know, you, you get into it. Get into that mic. <laughs> get into that mic. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You, can't, yeah. you can't hear me. You can't hear me. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes. All right, all right. Power. Let's so hear I just feel like um. I feel like it's too loud now. No, you're good, King. Okay. You're perfect. <laughs> when do you feel like Jamar can just be, you know, comfortable? Um, and be a, is it right away? You just your natural I, self? To a certain extent, it, okay. it is, but you can't give them all you because mm -hmm. then you, you, like he said, you got to have layers to it because the woman ain't going to give you the whole thing nope. either. She go, she go slowly. It's an interview. She mm -hmm. go slowly. Break it down. Some some, some women keep, I was gonna mess with women that keep their guards up though. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you never know. It just some is harder to break, some is easier to break. But it's, it's just like men, we got walls too that mm -hmm. we we keep we just a little manlier, so it's harder for us to show it. Yeah. Females, y'all a little emotional, so <laughs> no disrespect to no, y'all. No, not at all. But, women you know, are emotional beings, men are intelligent, um, you know logical beings yeah I guess, so you but, know we just yeah. got that it's a balance though y'all it's a balance yeah we just gotta we we got a whole ground okay follow-up question um right. because i've been hearing this a lot about you know um breaking those walls down God, women listen up okay because these are some kings up here so listen up y'all but i've been hearing a lot about you know women having those guards up and um you know, one gentleman said, this, it's just too much. It's too much to get to know her. It's too much to get to her. Like, it requires too much. You know, do you feel like if you really like this, you know, particular woman, what she's showing you, all that good stuff, but she's guarded. Mm. At, at some point, like it can that. be too much. Like I'm yeah. too and much, I ain't going to say it's too much. I ain't going to oh, say it's okay. too much. Because slowly, that wall will come down. You just yeah. got to stick to it. It just, it, if she work, if she worth applying the pressure, you just gotta, that's, that's all it is. You just yeah. apply the pressure. And eventually, it's it. gonna loosen up. Yeah. yeah, especially if maybe a lot of individuals, you know, are trying to get her attention. Yeah. You know what I mean? Then she should have the. It's a protective mechanism, and honestly, yeah. you should respect her for it. Definitely. Especially if you're the one that's slowly knocking those walls down, and and she's beginning to trust you. So, but, fellas, keep. Going well, you know, but, 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 not, but not a lot of, but well, a lot of men I mean. don't. A lot of men don't want to be in competition. Well, no, it's like, not a competition. Mm -hmm. It's just more so, you know, she's just guarded from you, and she's kind of letting you in the door. She's not letting nobody else in the door. Oh, okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? But I'm saying, it's some women that'll tell you, like, you know, I got, you know. She got prospects going on there who made the best man. And I'm like, yeah, that's nah, that I, ain't. I'm cool on that. Like, I don't know. Is that the dating game these days? Oh, sometimes a woman will tell you, yeah. like, I got a couple guys I'm dealing with, you know, made the best man. I said, Oh, well, choose them. <laughs> they be intimate with them at the same time, or they just I, that I don't know. We don't going know on dates. Yeah. All oh, I know okay. is if you tell me <laughs> yeah, if you tell me that you got a lot I'm going ass. on, I'm gonna tell you if you gotta choose between me and him, choose him. Amen. I'm straight. I don't want that either. I yeah. don't want to be in no um, competition with nobody. Ain't nobody got if, time. If we click, either you see me or you we don't. Click, period. Like, yeah. if we click, we click now. If we because, don't, man. even if you've let me in a little bit, now, if, you, if, if, if you've let me in a little bit, then I might owe it to you to have a conversation. Yeah. Like, hey, you understand you had your experience and your journey and who or whatever, but I need to know if this is a defense mechanism Ooh. or are you just naturally just like cold hearted like this? Ooh. You know yeah. what I mean? I need to figure that out. Some be from past relationships. Yeah. 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 So, but trauma. You know, like, yeah. As far as somebody being too hard, I'd be like, you know, I really got other stuff to do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, yeah, you know, some situations you be you be with somebody and then later on when you ain't with them no more, you get to thinking like, man, I seen all them flags. I don't know why I, I thought I was gonna be there, I was gonna be able to break 
the past. Right through. Yeah. You see them already. So you like, flag. yeah, you see them already. You like, man, she got this, she got that. Well, going sometimes on. that goes back to our expectations too. Like when we, when we have certain expectations, it blinds us from even being able to, to really see. Sometimes True. we don't even know it's a red True. flag until later. True. Yeah. And it's you know too late because like, you already locked in. Like we don't, it True. sometimes it takes for us to give like so much of ourselves. And I'm like, wait a minute, I, I know what I'm giving is cold. Man, you lose she, a lot of time and money. Amen. Yeah. I understand that. And I definitely agree that um, you should be in a healed position before you start dating. Um, you shouldn't hold the past against um, your present. Um, so I absolutely agree with that as well. It should be a clean slate with every new person that you date. Amen. Yeah. But Amen. how long does it normally take for a woman to heal? Well, <laughs> well um, I'm actually going to average. What what would be the average for you? Yeah, I'm gonna say, yeah. Why are you always asking question. the host you questions? You're the only one here. You're the only one here. Give me the bell, Lord. Give me the bell. Oh, um, no, 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 no. How no, long for, do it take? I don't think there's a specific time frame. Oh. Um, I, I feel like there's a process. Um, do my process the that they have is definitely from the um, past traumas I've been through. A lot, Lord. I've been through a lot. I've been through things that was supposed to break me um, and didn't. Uh, so for me, it took me um, being around friends, friends and family who loved me because I, I was with someone that really made me feel like I wasn't loved, liked or attractive or any of those things. Um, so my confidence suffered a lot. Um, all of that. Don't they over here drinking water and stuff? They like she talking now. So now I got a break. Water. I could chill. <laughs> but I, I went through a lot. And so what I did was um, I did some journaling. Um, I you know really developed a closer relationship with with God. Um, and I took some time for me. I didn't date at all. Um, and just took some time for me. And I think we have to do that instead of jumping in another relationship. Um, and uh, basically putting a Band-Aid on a, a wound. And my wound was a bullet hole. So I had to let it breathe. And I had to, you know, just take that time. So I don't think there's a time. Um, I just think there is a process. Um, and honestly, I feel like I'm about ready to date. I was by my husband going to love him some me, okay? <laughs> but this ain't about me. This is about these kings. You see how they keep trying to go off, y'all? <laughs> they keep trying to go off um, on the topic but that's what we do here at the shine your light podcast and i do appreciate these kings for coming on the show and shining their light on these specific topics ladies again i need y'all to listen up because i'm trying to hook them up on a blind date all right all right so mr Derek, mr Derek, how long do you feel um did, did you probably went off so you didn't have to answer the question lord uh, <laughs> <laughs> i thought I, I thought i escaped it yeah no he I chimed you in. did chime I really in answered it. Okay. No, what you, yeah i really answered it right okay just cool all right we gone <laughs> my guest co-host over here all right. right real this is a quick one y'all yes or no question um and i'm gonna start with Derek. Would you date a woman that's celibate? And I mean a woman who has children, who uh, has been intimate in the past. Would you date a woman that's celibate? Taking too long now. <laughs> Taking too long. Man. Uh, ooh, that's a good question. And the reason why I ask that is because a lot of women, you know, have you know what? I, taken I'm, a spiritual I'm journey. Go for it. At, at 39, no. Okay. And at, that's at 60, yeah. I ain't nobody got time. You know, I know some fine women no, at 60, I said if I, body, no, body, body. No, no, no. Uh -oh. I'm saying at 39, I'm not, I don't want to date no woman that's saying that she don't want to do anything. Well, why would you say at 60? What's the difference? Because, you don't I think you're going to be as active? I'm 60. I'm, I'm older. I mean, I might not care about it that much. No, no they going to be, <laughs> listen, know. at 60, we going to be getting it in. No, that's okay. cool. We, we is, but I'm just saying at 60, I might be, you know, when you, I ain't own it that much no more. Maybe I don't know. I'm gonna ask a sixty year old man that and see what he say before yeah. he call me baby. Well, call me your baby. Let me show you. That's yeah, probably gonna I, be his I response. Don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about that. But like I okay. said, you know, I mean, ain't nothing wrong with saying no. Yeah. And I, I think that's honest. Um, and you don't want to put yourself in a situation that you can cheat on somebody that you know you really do care that, about. I mean, that's sex to marriage, right? We ain't having sex to marriage, right? 
I mean, Poss- possibly. Yeah. yeah I, I don't. I mean, she might want to wait a year. She might want to wait six months. But then or again, she might but then wait, again wait you know what? It has it has a gift and a curse because at the end of the day, Amen. I really don't put no time limit on when you might see this the woman for you and you want to marry her life short Amen. so you might say in six months man you know what this woman for me i'm gonna get her a ring mm-hmm. so maybe in that six months and another six months you marry her so then y'all do what y'all do in a year so Amen. It's, a, it's possible it's definitely possible yeah. okay all right good to know so my parent with somebody to celebrate we'll see <laughs> <laughs> all right mr jamar would you date someone that is um keeping the cookies from you at this age how i feel now <laughs> sure i can amen Couple years ago, I not at all. You seem like a very not spiritual being. Yeah, but now as I'm getting older and things like that, and I'm just really trying to live my life. So just have fun and do a lot of things. So if she want to keep it from her, I respect that. Okay. Do you as feel long like she ain't, can... as long as she ain't giving it away to nobody, Amen. I am good. And now that's just a whole another story. It's but... marinating for me. Right. Well, you can't give it to him and then say you can't get it. Now women do that too. They give it to you and then say they give it. They give it to you and then say, yeah, "Oh, yeah. now <laughs> you can't good get one. it." And you like, good one. I'll share a quick story with y'all. So I dated three celibate ministers three celibate ministers y'all um the first one and they they told me they were celibate they ain't doing nothing you know what i'm saying the first one i found out he was sleeping with his neighbor known a man for five years <sighs> um yep so i found out he was sleeping with his na- neighbor shout out to him um he blocked so he ain't watching long um the next one um i found out uh wonderful man you know very attractive personal trainer all that good stuff um I, and uh he was uh, a traveling massage therapist i found out he had a girlfriend of two years and a two-year-old mm. that i never knew about celibate so he didn't have a problem being celibate with me because he had somebody at mm. the crib yeah, the okay, whole okay. time mm, okay. lord okay um, and the other one, I just, I just didn't believe that he was celibate. So I didn't even, um, I didn't, I didn't entertain that, but yep. Just, you know, just asking. So um, did they come out and tell you they was? No, or? I found out. No, no, no. I'm talking about, did they tell you they were celibate? Yes. Like, all so three. They, mm, because they're ministers, I they're preaching. Was it to go on a date with you or? Um, yeah, all all three of them wanted to date me. We have a new guest, y'all. Come on in the room. We got Wes, producer Wes from Chicago. He made it all the way. Have a seat. Have a seat, King. Welcome to the Shine Your Light podcast. And see, we're going to have a brief intermission for our listeners. Again, this wonderful man, this King, came all the way from Chi-Town, my hometown, y'all, um, so, to be with so, us today and see. share his input. Whoop, whoop, whoop on these wonderful wonderful topics how you feeling you're feeling good 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 i'm gonna have him introduce himself and then we're gonna um we're gonna go over this wonderful question and as he gets comfortable i'm actually gonna ask king right here uh mr antonio xavier would you date xavier antonio (laughs) xavier antonio would you date excuse me king I appreciate I, I appreciate correction. I'm a woman. Um, if I'm going in the wrong direction and you don't tell me we're gonna have a problem, I don't even want that friendship. So um uh, I appreciate correction at all times, as we all should. Would you, Mr. Xavier Antonio, would you date um someone celibate? Of course we can go out to eat and you know, and go to movies, not the late show, like <laughs> like three thirty, so I can take somebody else to the movies. Right. Later. Hey, hey. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? But, See, of course. Is it temptation? Like <laughs> why? Hey, hey Tone, I guess I misunderstood what she said. She said dating. I'm thinking relationship. I'm like, nah. Relationship. Yeah, that's what I'm... okay. Dating, yeah. Relationship, no. But see, when you're when you're dating, then you're putting yourself at risk of getting feelings for that person. And then getting into a relationship. Okay, so yeah, don't even open the door. But once we're in a relationship, I'm not going to really. Un- but like I said, I remember I, I went back and said, it depends. I guess if you. Yeah. Even for me, like it, like yeah. if we are like, we're, you know, we hung out or whatever and like, we're officially dating and we got this goal. Like we we already having discussions about marriage. You know what I mean? Then 
okay, we probably get married a little faster, actually. You yes. know what I'm saying? Yeah, right, right. But if it's like if it's our plan because we're Did trying y'all to y'all hear that? Because yeah, they'll get married faster. Love, love Ladies, faster. pay attention. <laughs> you know, anyway. Keep the cookie <laughs> in the jar. <laughs> Keep the cookie but in the jar. Yeah. If we're already, you know, like talking about marriage. And, and if it's our plan because we're trying to accomplish something. But yeah. but because but you done went through something and dealt with something, you trying to test me or whatever the case may be. And you're mm. like, well, you just gonna be celebrating the world. You keep doing that. Yeah, right. don't you know test We're gonna be friends, yeah. we're gonna hang out because and, and he gonna get the cookie from somebody right. else. Because, because really sex complicates things, actually. Yeah. Yeah, you could can. be you could be vibing good with a person, and as soon as you have sex, then it's like so. I called you earlier. You didn't answer. Where were you? And I'm like, yeah, what you mean? Thing. Hold on. We ain't together. Whoa, 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 women, whoa, whoa. women can't. I know so many women that feel like they can um, be intimate with a person and not have an emotional connection. That's and they're, a lie. they're lying. They're lying. They lying to I themselves. Have women, I know women that say that. Huh? They said they can't. They they, they say they, they can, can yeah, but they cannot. That's a lie. They cannot. Yeah. Listen, ladies, don't even attempt to do it. But I'm going to tell y'all this. <laughs> And this is just me, my personal opinion, because uh, Lachelle holds men to the highest regard, to the highest standard. I feel like men are leaders. I feel like everything starts with y'all. This is my personal opinion, okay? Um, if that if that woman is not someone that you deem worthy of a relationship or a future with, leave her alone. My personal I opinion, that. I respect um, that. because you're causing, especially being aware of that fact. You're causing wounds to that woman um, and you guys can hit it and leave. But now, you you know, that's an attachment to her. That's respect, a soul tie. Yes. And I and that's a man of integrity that um, says no to those situations. So we appreciate the kings on this um, at this table. These are all men of integrity. Um, we appreciate y'all. So leave our queens alone if it ain't going to be y'all queen. OK. OK. So, Mr. West. Thank you for joining us from Shy Town. Let's make sure you's in the camera. Come on, look closer. Okay, you in there? Yes. How you doing today? Yes, you are. Yeah. Yes, you are. Can you tell us a little bit about what you do? Um, hip hop producer slash artist from my Chicago. Amen. Um. Drop the EP. This won't take long, which is basically like a lunch break because it's like 31 minutes. So you get the EP, you realize, OK, I understand where he's going with this. Amen. Um, that's pretty much it. And all in a nutshell, well, a small nutshell for right now. <laughs> OK, wonderful, wonderful. Happy to hear um, those great things and great things to come from Wes. Um, so I'm going to ask you, are you single? Yes. Oh, would you allow me to pair you on a blind date? We're going to talk about it. We're just going to talk about it. If y'all hesitate for more than two seconds, you not finna say it on the, the um, show, y'all. You ain't finna be messing up my promotion. I would I would have, but she, she she stopped me at 1.5. So I had an extra half a second to be like, off the air. Okay. Now, would you date someone that is celibate? A date, yeah. Okay. Date definitely, yeah. Okay. But what if y'all got into a relationship and she wanted to remain celibate? Um, would that be an option for you? Uh, that would be a no. Okay. And that's honesty. <laughs> I appreciate honesty. Okay. So let me ask. I'm going to ask you all this. Okay. Actually, I'm going to start with you, Wes. Um, does your opinion change about a woman um, depending on um, how soon they gave up the nookie? Does my opinion change as far yeah. as like how, how I view how them? How you view them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, it could be a positive or negative, um, you know, whether she took a really long time or she gave it up really quick. Now, she took a long time. My opinion of her would be like, OK, this is a woman of virtue. I could probably go a little bit further with. But well, why y'all going to take it then? If she gave it, maybe she thinking it's love at first sight. Sometimes <laughs> the moves be right. OK. <laughs> All right. All right. I understand. I understand. OK, Derek. Mm. How you feel on this? Um, no, it ain't gonna, it ain't gonna, you know. I mean, sometimes it's just like the mood be there, you know. Spontaneous, it, it, yeah, just, it be spon you know, this be spontaneous energy. sometimes, you know. Ready. Plenty Hennessy. Oh, you know, goodness and, um, gracious! You might do some things you forgot you did. 
I'll do some strange things for a little bit, bit of change. No, that not what they that, say? but you know, is that yeah. something different? I don't well, be you know the sayings, y'all. Yeah, yeah, it's <laughs> just, it no, it's just, it's just a thing where, you know, you vibing, but I don't think that make me look at that person and say, you know, oh, she this or she that. I just feel like, yeah, you, you know, you, you know, I feel like I had that, I had that effect. Yeah, it could have been. A, oh, look at the confidence coming through the door. He said he has that I effect, mean, you, y'all. You make- know, you, you know, if you it depends makes- on if you in that environment. Like if you now, nah, of course, yeah, you it's easier to get away. You know, you on a date or something, but you at the house, y'all watching a movie, and you, you Netflix know, Netflix and you, chill, y'all. Yeah, Netflix you, and chill in Hennessy. You smelling apparently. good. You drinking Hennessy. You know, something might happen, but it um, don't mean that I'm judging her because because what she might do with me, a next person might not go that far. Okay, Mr. West, want to chime on in? Chime on in, Mr. West. I agree with what he's saying, but you know that's how he said Hennessy twice. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we, without I know what I, without I, I, that. I, that's my preference, Henny. If I got Henny, I don't know what I would really move on flow. Liquor, really? Well, not not real, not any. Casamigos. No, <laughs> I'm drinking that right now. But Henny. <laughs> okay. All right. So sober minds um keep it. Keep, oh, keep it in, oh, okay, yeah. gotcha. Keep it Duly noted. Yeah, Duly noted. Gorgeous, so intention, yeah. intention is everything, God. Mm-hmm. Intention is everything. But I, you know, it might be a situation where she ain't been with nobody in a year, and y'all just have that automatic chemistry. You know what I mean? Or you just that that guy for her, and she's just like, oh my, oh my. Um, so I wouldn't say necessarily um, judge a young lady, but. Um, you know, it's 2022, y'all. Yeah, I ain't you know, we, we just got to keep it real. Yeah, um, if you giving the cookies up too soon, they ain't going to respect that. Mo- the majority if she says it up front. Huh? If she if, says it up front? Then, yeah. Okay, then you it's will respect that? Oh, okay, okay, but if you just go... Oh, Willy-nilly. Right, you're like, okay. You know, a lot of women are really, really, and I'm, I'm learning this as I interview our beautiful women, a lot of women are damaged, y'all. Um, and a lot of women feel like that's all they have to offer with everything that they've been through. I'm not one of them women. However, when I see those women, I recognize that's what it is. They're just damaged and they don't really um, understand their worth. OK, so mm-hmm. if that is something that's unattractive to y'all, just going to be with with somebody that know they worth. That's going to keep the cookie in a jar, make y'all work a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So, ladies, make them work. Make them work. I'm cool either way. I'm okay. just going to make them pre- the women I, work. I, Oh. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Make them work. Yeah. Make them work yeah. because it's a two you way street. Street. Yeah, because Man, because same should. same way you giving me some, you giving me a gift. I'm giving you one too. Amen. We giving each other a gift. Amen. This ain't see women like to put. Oh, I love that. You better say it, King. Women Shine like your to light. Put they, you know, on the top on pedestal. The top pedestal. And like, well, you know, I get. But they know what it do. <laughs> I gave you some too. This yeah. Is, this is you. Really? This USDA. You this better quality. Speak. You better speak on it. Speak on it, King. And that's real. That is that's real. Um, I love that. You know, I absolutely love that. This ground chuck. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you gotta go to Whole Foods for that. Okay. No, but that's facts. You know, and a lot of women, um, they kind of do put themselves on the pedestal. Um, I'm not one of them. I'm very humble being. Um, but no, it is an, e- it is definitely an equal exchange where we, we're about to get into that question too. I feel like you went through my notes or something. You went through my cards. Man, no, I feel something. no, I'm just, I'm getting back in podcast mode. He is. We need to be a guest host on the show. Ain't nobody got time. Let's go to King over here. We, I, I might not I'll get all through these now. Um, but you know, let us know, like with that. Would your opinion um, change about a person? You know, if she gave it up too quickly, or mm, it it all depends on how the night went. Like if it was like too easy night, if you went out had a good time, she just threw it at you. Boom, nah, just, Jamar, you know, sometimes you know, sometimes it don't even be that. It just be the you go out, you have a good time, y'all vibing, yeah. the connection is good, everything, y'all just. Happen to probably go back to the career, watch a movie, then that thing, you know, when you got when you got liquor in you. <laughs> Listen, I'm a lot say, of I must just say when you got liquor in you, yeah. Or a lot of women lot just of feel like change. they want to be free. <laughs> you know, they just want to be yeah, free in 2022. Yeah. So okay, so no on. judgments from Jamar. Um, no judgments, but ladies, keep your cookies in the jar. They they Man, say keep, what they say, but keep yours in yours too. 
All right. Amen. Amen. <laughs> keep it. Keep them things in them jogging, them gray joggers. Okay. Gray joggers. In the gray joggers. <laughs> Man, yeah. for real, because we we feel like we got Mama something Shell just... in the building, y'all. Why Mama is it Shell. the gray joggers though? Why can't be no other color? I don't know, y'all. Be Let's, <laughs> that's another topic. All right, they gonna get me in trouble. Um, <laughs> Mister <laughs> Xavier Antonio, would you respect a woman less if she gave up the cookie too quick? If she took it out the jar, what's going on? Um, I don't really think there is a, you know, necessarily a too quick. I don't even think it's even about the act itself. It's like, if I, it's all about the energy that the person is giving you, like, initially. Like, mm-hmm. if we meet wherever, club, whatever, and that, and you're giving me that sexual gen- energy off top, I've made, for the most part, I've made my decision about you right then and there. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It could be somebody we we started off and had a, a very intellectual conversation, or we got a lot of different things that we that we love and that we enjoy, and we kick it on a, and we go on an official date. And on the first night we hit, that's a little different because we already had another type of energy and yeah. another type of yeah. connection Respect before that. that even happened. You know Amen. What I mean? Right. So it's it's all about that that initial energy that a person yeah. is, right. is not, giving you. Not a one night stand. Yeah. If you now one in the night club stand. Or that's I've different. Never had that's one different. Yeah, I'm not gonna <laughs> um, respect you less. I, yeah. That, you know now mean? that's I'm different. Gonna, now. Yeah. yeah. But I don't judge anybody. I've yeah. never had one of those. But I don't judge anybody. Yeah. Everybody um, deserves to be. I was free. scared on one. <laughs> I'm done. I'm Everybody over here dangling my feet, y'all. My feet oh, don't yeah. touch yeah. the yeah. floor. I was scared. I was so scared. With all these I wonderful keys. <laughs> and that's why y'all keep the cookie in the jar and you keep the thing in the from swinging. I was terrified. Keep the thing okay. from swinging. I got a 15 year old son, and I'm going to tell him the same thing because, one. especially someone, uh, no judgment, but especially someone that is giving it up that quickly. May you know it may not have gone and you know check things out for themselves. That's one, that's I, so yeah, I was scared. It's yeah. 2022. Sometimes no relationship yeah, ain't just COVID though. out here no more. True. Listen, I, had, I, had one, True. I had one in that's, high school. That's facts. True. Some that's people facts. was meeting people off these day naps and they lasting. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, I ain't. that's true. Because I. I I ain't trying to judge, but I feel like people that's on them dating sites, I be feeling like something wrong. Something wrong with them. (laughs) I mean, I ain't judging. I ain't judging, judging, but I think they weird or something wrong. I I mean. But if you keep this in mind, I ain't trying to pair people of dates. So technically, I'm the site. So but no, that's not a dating. That's not a dating site. I'm talking about like the plenty of fish. But and you the, know what? Some people is paying to find a, a mate. Now, what's now, the other one called? E-har- reason, is it E-har- What is it called? E-har- it's yes. a serious oh, yeah. uh, I was just all, all of them. <laughs> it's a lot of. But now listen yeah. to this. Listen to this though, because the reason why I pair people on blind dates is the same reason. Um, honestly, I feel like I should probably be paired on a date. I'm more of a homebody. I don't go out too often. It's hard to, for me to meet new people. I feel the uh, same so way. People, especially people that are working all the time. You know, again, I, they're not social butterflies. I, I feel so the same sometimes way. they need to swipe left or right. I, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel the same way. I and just ain't never went people. on a dating site, but I. I feel like I don't go out in Milwaukee at all. I just I travel a lot. Yeah. I travel every month. But. I would want something that is more personable, not like plenty of fish and all. I would want like somebody to really interview um, these individuals and um, you know pick someone you know specific that they feel like I'm going to have fun with um, and have a great conversation with, which is what I do when I pair people um, on blind dates. Hit me up if you there is a fifty dollar <laughs> registration fee. Um, we can discuss that. <laughs> But I do pair people on blind dates, y'all. And um, again, I just be wanting people to have a great time. And every single person that I've paired on a blind date, they all have um, had an amazing time. So um, have we asked everybody uh, this question? Are they still? Um, no, they're not <laughs> dating. But you know, it's not about that. You know, I don't guarantee love. I guarantee just a great time for you to get it out the house with a great time. person. <laughs> not that kind of fun time. Nice. They bet I'm, not. I'm just a great time they did every single person had a great time except for that one they had <laughs> they had a great time but she was a little bougie and um she said he didn't make enough money to pursue anything more and i honestly i <laughs> would i would choose to, i'm women. not gonna set Man, her up again that's what's wrong i'm with not gonna women. set her up again because we don't you know i'm not representing hey. um, people with that type of mindset i love her with all my heart and honestly, I feel like she's uh, grew and have changed and um she's not like that Let, no more so how long ago was this that was last year and she grew in the year. I hope so. <laughs> listen, <laughs> Shell. Hey, listen, so. Shell. There's some, there's some women out here that be wanting to know, yo. Credit score, bank statements. And I'm like, bank statements. 
I know, Time Lord. First of all, if you want to compare bank statements, I'll be thinking to myself, like, I got other things going on Anybody that I'm not showing the bank statement. Ooh. Meaning, like, if you got other things going on, it, it might me. not show you got nah. <laughs> 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 That's like saying, like, if you got a job, right? Yeah. But you, doing you selling cars you selling dogs that ain't gonna show in my bank statement amen so therefore you can't judge me on what's in my account it shouldn't be no judge but some all, women y'all. is asking people i need to see you tell me your credit score can i see it you what, know what, why what do you need to see it for you know why because it's trending that's why yeah, man, um, I, ain't with all that. I start trends so that's showing let's you start a new yeah, trend that ain't no tr- that's showing let's no trust right there all, out the gate <laughs> But no, I've been kind of on that too lately since I've been really getting into You've been credit. asking for bank statements? No, nah, I'm saying. <laughs> no, no, I'll be asking them about like what they see themselves at, like as yeah. far as like credit and all that type of life. They trying to work on their credit because I can't be with nobody that ain't. Everybody to say, yeah. Something. That's fact. You can, you can tell the ones that's actually trying. Though. Oh, yeah, 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 sure. Now, yeah. If, at least have at least one credit card, at least. Absolutely. So. I have several. Um now <laughs> yes, I got more than but one. keep in mind, I will I, I will say this because we're here to keep it real, y'all. And we're not here to um stump on nobody. We we here to lift everybody up. Some people don't have good credit because our generation just wasn't taught that, yeah, you know. Yeah. Um, and guess what? I know about 20 credit repair people that I can refer, refer that person to. So if that person is deemed um, to you to be someone uh, that you want to date and they need assistance with their credit, you know, send them my way. We help with well, that they too. Be willing to, <laughs> they also got to be willing to learn. Amen. Amen. Yeah. yeah so. It's real easy, actually. It's actually. very it is, easy. It's real easy. Or, yes. once you, or, or yeah, chime in. Some can. of them know and still do wrong. Facts. Yeah. Yeah, some people yeah. shop. Um, that's their therapy, retail yeah. therapy, which is I, I not. Got that. Good I mean, I, ain't gonna, I got that habit. No, I yeah. mean, like, I'm gonna use your credit it. card. Then I get it pay my, it off. I get it from my mama. Less than thirty percent. It's, 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 it's in the jeans. No, I mean, like, put a house in your five year old's name. Oh, you could do that. I don't think you can. Actually <laughs> I don't do think that. you can, can do, you do that, that? Lord. I mean, they used to do it with the, they used to do it with the phone like bills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew, I, I know like you can. get eighteen and be like, "Wait, I'm on the credit cards and you can add eighty nine maximum." I can't even drive yet. Come on, how do I get this? Right. But you know what? I'm not gonna lie. My mom never did that to me. But back in the day, she did it to my sister. She did it to my sister. Yeah, because you know your mama only teach some know better. They just choose not to do it. Your mama only teach you. My mama only taught me to survive, not to keep the credit going. Meaning, pay we energies to keep the lights on not to keep the credit going that's true i didn't exactly. learn that until later that i realized that we energies was reporting they're not reporting no more but i realized they was reporting i'm like they reporting i ain't know that i'm just paying to keep my lights on yeah i wish mom's was always taught me to pay to keep them on not pay and pay them in full yeah so the, and now this new generation 2022 we teaching um the next generation something new and for those women that don't know Guess what? Lift our queens up the same way I say, you know, you run into a situation and that woman should hold you down. Lift our queens up. Some of our babies don't know. Some of our babies out here don't even know how to cook, Lord. Okay. (laughs) But they be exactly. But they may not have had that grandma and that that mother to teach. So guess what? Guess what? If you don't know how to cook, right? I got to know that you're willing to get in the kitchen with mama. I got to I got to know that you're willing to get in there with my mama and she going to. She going to show you some things. Listen, ladies. I gotta, you got to be willing to get in there with my mama. Yeah. Because my mama is the type of person she do all the major cooking for our family. So yeah. I need to know that you're willing to get in there to learn if you not if you don't know how. And or you know, mm-hmm. or ahead, if, you you can't, if you can't cook, mm-hmm. then you got to be able to get me whatever I need. Some way, somehow. <laughs> okay. All right. Make sure your sister and auntie and them cook. But I'm going to tell you this real quick. Um, A lot of times those women that have those hard shells up, and um, don't get into that place of submission to be like, you know what? I'm a cook in the kitchen with your mama. They got pride. They don't They don't want the help and that assistance to be better because they have pride. So women, ladies that are out there, don't be prideful. Your king, if your king is trying to, if he's really your king and you see him in that light, allow him to add value to your life because that's what it is. You're 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 adding value to him and he's adding value to you for your home as a whole. So mindset, y'all, no pride. Let that pride go and allow these kings to help you um, become your best self as you help them as well. Wes, did you want to chime in, King? I mean, with, adding on to what he said, yeah. 
with the grandmothers and the mothers and so on and so forth. Love my grandma. One hundred percent. Or greens fire. But there's also other avenues since you're doing all these TikTok videos. You know what I'm saying? Yes. That's something called YouTube. TikTok yes. teaches you a lot. I learned so much on YouTube. I learned so much on YouTube. I'm going to learn a lot of From the hardest dish to the easiest dish. <laughs> yes, yes, Lord. I learned so much on yeah. YouTube. And I still be. Um, I just made some um, vegan tacos out of like. Uh, Fire, well, wasn't it? It was so good. Oh, man. oh my God. I'll use my food processor and man, everything. It was great. so good. It was fire. Oh, yeah. Um, but okay, let me ask Mr. I'm actually gonna ask this to Derek. I'm gonna ask this to Derek because <laughs> this is one of the follow-up questions. Oh, okay, okay. And you were talking about being previously engaged. So um several times you said, What could your ex have done better <laughs> to keep the relationship going? What could that woman we always put so much on our kings, our men, but what could that woman have done to keep that re- keep that relationship going? Self-reflection is important as well, but go ahead and try, man. Oh man, that's, that's, that's what could one. she have done better? And that's a good one, man. Um, I don't know. I, I mean, I, I feel like you know, a lot of our communication, you know, wasn't there. Um, I feel like, uh, you know, people have a. I think that people have a past, and off they pass, they just think, you know, they go off they pass, and they just feel like. Everything that went on in their past, this is how it's going on with this person. I'm not a hard person to please. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't saying you got to be cooking every day. You know, I just feel like if I'm dealing with you, I can't get a a, a sandwich and a bag of chips to go to to go to lunch. Ham like, and I, cheese, I, I, little ham and cheese. It. Yeah, that's it. Like, I can't get a turkey sandwich or nothing yeah. and a bottle of water. Amen. Like, amen. You know, and I think like when you first meet women, you know, they call you and say, I cooked. And she say, let me know when you're on the way. I'm going to have the food hot for you. Yeah. And after you get to talking to her, all of a sudden she call you and say the food, you get over there, send the microwave. Oh, okay. I'm like, what's going she on? Didn't you cater to you as um you saw fit. Okay. Well, they cater to you to get you, but then once they got you, it seems like things representative. Are bad. Okay, that's why you give things time, y'all. Yeah, the same know. way a woman should give um things time with the cookie, y'all need to give her time with her character. Right. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Sure. To make sure that the same woman that has been presented to you is the one that you're going to marry. Give it time. Give it time. Tell us all things. Um, so I love that, you know, because again, we're not here. We don't put nobody down, but, um, we do teach lessons, Mm -hmm. you know, there's somebody that's in a relationship right now. And these ladies do feel like they cookie is everything. And that's all that's required. No, 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 no. Um, you need to be the entire entity. You need to be able to provide that nourishment, um, for your family. And if you don't know how to cook, man, again, YouTube. Okay, I'm a visual learner. I need to see um the picture. You're gonna be my chef and personal trainer, Lord. We gonna... I Man. am getting hooked up here. My feet don't touch the ground, but these kings around me, you know, they got yeah. me. They got me. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna ask this to Antonio, Xavier Antonio, Xavier Antonio. Look, you looking like he got my back, y'all. You see, he he behind me right now. He got my back. <laughs> He ain't gonna yell at me today. Um, but what could your your um past um relationships uh, maybe you know what could they have done better to keep the relationship going? And it could be it doesn't have to be the last person, but any um scenario. Let's teach the queens. Well, mm-hmm. uh oh, my boy, my boy. <laughs> Dang it. Play. Dang it. All right, I'm gonna respect that one. I'm gonna respect that one. So Jamar, let's let's shoot it over to you. What could she have done I better? A lot. Oh, stay he said he don't need the bell. All right, stay off of social media. Man. Ooh, that's one of the questions, y'all. That y'all done. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, you know, social uh, media is one of the biggest man. upsets in relationships, man. and I've been experiencing that. Man. Okay, so so what do you? Okay, so is it social media in regards to like the pictures that they post or just no, entertaining I others? No, I don't care about that. I'm just talking about like, like when you. All right, so yeah. relationships have. Going issues. That. So if you go to Facebook and report what's going oh, on in your house, no, that's and a no all no. That type of I things learned that lesson too. All, that's a, that's a big no no. Yeah, you're calling your friends and talking to them about keep it that's private. A big no-no. That's single. You know, and somebody yeah. said this to me. Um, everybody that just displays good things on social media, you know, they're they're fake and they're this and that. They no, just no, looking no. for attention and sympathy. Well, no, no, that's no. All. So, um, 
relationships as a whole, if they're always smiling on social media, they were saying that they're being fake. But no, they're not being fake because they're not displaying their business on social media. They I am somebody that me and my mate, you'll never see us argue. If that's my man, you ain't never going to see me disrespect him in person, raise my voice, any of that. We going to talk in private. He going to hear this fire. He going to hear this fire. I am his advisor. I'm his teammate, partner, all that good stuff. Um, but it's never, it's always going to be behind the scenes for me and mine. And that's something that I had to learn in my journeys. Um, yeah. So Social media. That's, so women mm. stay off of social media. Yeah, I respect that. Well, honey, keep keep that, your business on social media. Post your pictures. Yeah, yeah. You can post your pictures. Post and your all pictures. That stuff. <laughs> but if you having issues with your man, okay, one minute y'all on Facebook smiling. Yeah. The next couple of days, uh, f what, this dude. What? Ooh, what not, it, it don't look good. That's not a good now, representation when all, of it's him like either. all you're looking for is attention for people to yep. chime yep. in and yep. comment. Ooh. That's all. It's a childlike mindset. But social media is a is sure. a, is a platform where a lot of people looks can be deceiving. Yeah. Meaning things look good until you get in there and you say, oh, "You ain't really about that." Amen. What, you, what yeah. you be putting on there? You had me food. Amen. You know what Amen. I'm saying? So time. Gotta, Give everything time. Yeah, you got to yeah. be careful with that. And I think social media people take it like you out on dates and people and you like, man, you you sitting there. Sometimes dudes be sitting there saying that. What you man? We out on a date. You cussing on that phone? Oh no, that's yourself, disrespectful. You sitting there saying yourself, I could be on my phone too, but guess what? I ain't gonna do that. Now I that's the king that. right there. That's that. the king. I can't wait to pair you, Lord. Go ahead, Jamar. What you got to say? <laughs> no, no, I was just saying I hate that. Yeah, yeah. Hate being on dates. Women, women be on, be on the, the phone. phone. Usually, I, that's the men that be on their phone. I, know, oh, I, I used, used to be on my phone until I started to get a little I older. Yeah. No, y'all give the respect. If I'm on my phone, then I'm not interested. It's over. Something I don't like social media with women it's like you be in your phone all day all the time and you sharing stuff that's fine even if it's like other videos or whatever it's like i'm the type of person where i like for you to you know i i shouldn't have to check facebook to figure out what you what you and what's entertaining you or yeah. how you feeling about stuff like if yeah. i see something i think is funny like i share with my mate you know what i'm saying like i might not necessarily need to share it on facebook can't wait to pair him in 2024 y'all can't wait. 2024. That's what he said. He said he ain't dating in 2022. He said, wait. 23. Give him 23. He said 24. He said 24. Oh, okay. What'd you say, Wes? What'd you say? Uh, these subliminal shots being thrown at each other on social media and y'all in the same house. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's childish. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's in another room. Childish. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> then y'all go on the messenger. I hate it here. And then y'all screenshot the messages. <laughs> Right. And you no like, one, and you, so what are we saying, really doing here? Right. Or in reverse of that, you just date somebody, whatever, and you post something, and they automatically think it's about them. It's like, yeah. That was, yeah. My, my guy is into this girl at work, and I thought, you know, what I'm saying? So <laughs> it, it, just, it just be man. funny. Yeah. You know, well, the well, always that. Funny. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's some where communication subliminal, is key. Some things subliminal. When you know you just went through that with her, and she posted that, like women to post stuff like, yeah. I ain't, uh, it would be a meme like, yeah, I ain't gonna be too many times. You, you, you've been unavailable. I can move on fast. And you thinking, yeah, I have been busy. It's got to be about me. <laughs> or just one word, done. Yeah. With what? <laughs> With what? With what? With what? I mean, you ask me. She like, I'm talking about the chicken that I cook. You ain't. I don't know if you have Facebook friends because everybody don't believe. I don't believe everybody know their Facebook friend, but right. people that you meet and you add them, they looking like, okay, done with what? Yeah. And people will ask you. Yep. And some, ask, you, but some, some dudes right. look at that as they ammo. Ask you. Some dudes look at that as ammo. Yeah. Amen. Oh, she. Some dudes sit around and wait for a woman to be single so he can go. He can shoot. <sighs> he can. He can go in. But a lot. A lot Women of people, do that too, y'all. This, I mean, this <laughs> oh, yeah, is, this yeah. is where we at now. We, you know, we, we, you know, virtual friendships. Everything is virtual now. And 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 the reality of it is, a lot of it just be entertaining. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like yeah. it's entertainment. It's where we at. Right it's now. how people go so, play I sports. How, you know, that's how guys look at it as yeah. entertainment. Women, yeah. y'all look at it as. You mean like if you like a picture? Platform, y'all put it up here. Some some dudes go to the studio. Some dudes go to the gym. Some dudes go shoot shoot the hoop. Some dudes like to just mess with girls. Some women post pretty pictures that they like. Yeah. So yeah, and go to the gym and do other stuff. Likes and all different type of things. Like I I ain't ain't never really had. It's likes. (laughs) See women. See women do this type of stuff. Post a picture. Had the gray sweats on with the little. (laughs) 
and then say, I'm looking crazy today, y'all. Sorry. <laughs> I feel like it's you said, it's, uh, you said yourself. Come on, man, stop playing. I feel like, ladies, I got y'all. Hold on now. We can't just let the kings uh just be all we didn't have to see willy nilly. <laughs> Come on, man. Like you thinking like you the... thinking like, man, she looking magnificent. I feel like I'm the... looking sorry today. It's sorry, the energy king. behind the like. Okay, it's the intent behind the like, the spirit behind the like, the energy behind the like. If you liking it and she just booty butt naked you know but you might be liking her journey you know she might be working out and um all this you might you be liking her than, journey you got more than like 50 likes i ain't like it ain't nobody you know, got like time it. you got enough like i ain't gonna say that i ain't gonna say that women like, have a lot of likes yeah, yeah. i'll be feeling like well you know times, well i'm gonna tell you another thing now here's the crazy thing you got some women right that'd be beautiful mm-hmm. and they had three likes right yeah, I know another some. Woman, I ain't, I ain't judging, but you have I another woman you'll be looking them. like she got a thousand. You like wow. <laughs> sometimes it's <laughs> once she's like, and I be thinking that's the eye of the beholder, hate, and, hate and no, and it, it could be a person's um personality too. True, People that true. you know what I'm saying. Yeah, it's true. the whole package. That's it's true. not just that's true. and that's some beautiful women are very private. They might only got a hundred friends. That's true. That's true. But yeah, yeah, and then some don't share it to like the public and exactly. All they yeah, might only true. have a hundred friends. Very selective. Um, they they like, yeah, only friends. Yeah, I only yeah. got fifty friends. So. That's true. On them fifty, are yeah, only yeah. ones that gonna see it. Yeah. Exactly. That's or true. you can exactly. put the ones that you want. Now, to do see. y'all yeah, go yeah, through yeah, that yeah. though? With um, y'all pictures being like, do y'all significant others automatically be like, mm, who is this one? Who is this one? Does it she... depends on how many times the girls be like. That. Oh, it goes on. Yeah. They, they, women, oh. y'all investigate. Hell yeah, because <laughs> y'all women, investigate. You'll go on a date with a woman, and she'll tell you about a woman pictures, that always like it. it up. Uh, you got what's her name liking your pictures all the time? Yeah, who is she? She must really like <laughs> that. It. Just means like, she oh, that's cares. My that's my sister. That's my, that's my friend. Mm. Oh, this the one. That's just <laughs> this the one. This the not, one. Not to knock them, because we're not here. Once again, we're not here to knock the women. Yeah, but uh, I see your little girlfriend uh, like the. <laughs> I don't even. Uh, Tell him, Wes. Tell him. You don't even know her. <laughs> Ma'am. You don't even know I don't her. even know this girl. <laughs> yeah, all right. Yeah. But you was liking her pictures back, though. Y'all got a whole no. social relationship on, on, virtually. In, in this particular instance. What happened? Tell us about it. The person that liked my pic, I'm not friends with. But I'm friends with other friends that she, you got mutual, you got mutual friends. And oh. she's I'm like, oh. Then she goes, you know what I'm saying, to her page. Oh yeah, because it's if, it right be on her page. If it's not, if you know how you at the bottom where it says share, yeah, you're not friends. But if you got like like or comment, mm-hmm. you can do that, even yeah. though we're not friends. Yeah. You get one of them particular episodes going on now. Here go a whole argument. Amen. Over something that I didn't even start. Well, you, I'm suited. Yeah. <laughs> well, so, some well sometimes it's not good to be friends with your mate on social media too also. that's a big yeah. one yeah that's you know but one. when you do that a lot of women think you're trying to hide something and Amen. it's like that's why i think like hiding or protecting? that's why i think like when i'm in a situation i i don't have no problem deactivating my page because really it'd be it'd it be kind of um it'd be in the way like meaning like it'd be a distraction mm-hmm. yeah sometimes for me Okay, because I'm on social that. media, I be on social Ooh. media a lot, so yeah, it'd be know. you know, it'd be a distraction sometimes. It can media. be, yeah, it's very fun and entertaining. You're a good spirit, good yeah. soul. Thank you, can't wait to pair you. And Go sometimes ahead, being on social media <laughs> don't, don't necessarily mean that you on there just to like pics and whatnot. Like, have y'all ever gotten got like a uh, sometimes it's family, or it could be something that, like, say, for instance, a sponsorship, yeah. amen. Yeah. And you and you going down your timeline, you see something that says, Oh. These new 11s for like 125. Mm-hmm. Amen. And you get them, be like, okay, these are these boys are legit. Mm-hmm. Now that algorithm be like, okay, such and such like these mics. Let's see what like with these Kyrie's or this Nike jumpsuit. Next thing you know, you got another timeline spot. That's if it were if I wasn't an artist, I ain't gonna even lie. I wouldn't be on social media. Mm. Yeah. There would be no need for me. Amen. I probably just post my pictures. I ain't gonna lie. Then nobody gotta like them. Ain't nobody gotta see them. But they just gonna be there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just gonna be there. Yeah, or you just post when you're on vacation. To me, I Amen. feel like in a relationship, post when you're on vacation. Mm-hmm. You post when we got anniversary. Posting when we getting married. Stuff like that. Yeah, Not posting. Yeah. No. They just got the shower. They crazy. Everything they right got on. a black towel. Yeah. They put a red towel on. Yeah, they eating lunch. They did this. They painted my like, toenails are wrong. Yeah. I, I went, like, yeah, ma'am. Yeah. But they they are promoting love. You know what I'm saying? Like they, you might just have to unfollow them new love birds. Um, because once I get a man, I don't know. He might just paint one toe, and I might be like, "Look, y'all, 
look at my man's and me. But that's because I've been, you know, single for so long. So I don't know. Cool. New love is beautiful. Good energy on Facebook. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. When you start putting the negative, the negative oh, on back there. and forth. That's no. It. Oh no, that's, he painted my toe. I can't stand us. this. Now, oh, he painted the other toe. Now we good. Okay, I got <laughs> you. I got you. It's crazy how negativity. Or that negative more energy, attention. as you said. You get more lights and a yeah. whole lot of everything. Man, anything. Fights, 200,000 views, <laughs> 25,000 shares. They're trending, Man. but let's change the trend, y'all. But, you know, but you're right, though. But you're 100% right. Those negative things do get more attention than the positive. Let's switch yeah. that up, y'all. Because when y'all, I don't know if y'all realize this, when y'all view those negative things over and over, that stuff gets attached to you. You know what I'm saying? If you that dark cloud gets on you, so you you really do have to pay attention to the music that you listen to, um, and the things that you watch, especially if you want to keep your your spirit right. Um, so listeners, li listen to that. Um, we sh positive things should be trending, and maybe more positive things will be occurring in your life. Let's go to Wes with this question: um, What could your past may have done better um, to keep the relationship? No names. All right, first of all, let me ask a question. What's the bell for? Oh, yeah. I didn't tell you about the <laughs> shell bell. Can somebody ring the shell bell for me, please? Go ahead and ring it, Wes. I hope that's your last time ringing it. So um, what it represents is basically if a question is too much. Ah, dang, you better not ring it. But if a question is, is deemed to be too much for you, then you can ring the bell as a sign of surrendrance. Oh, my, like I plead the fifth? Basically, yeah, basically. basically. Oh, this one, I mean, uh, what could she have done? And this is a teaching question. Way. Teach our listeners, um, you know, something good. What could she have done better? Two seconds. More communicative in a less uh, negative manner. Okay. In the sense of aggression, anger. I respect that. You know. Was she combative? She. Yeah. Do you think that may have um, come from her upbringing or past, you know, relationships? Oh, I looked. At, I looked into that. Okay. You know, and uh, it was part of it. Yeah. But when you're trying to like not use that as a um, scapegoat, yeah, to leave her, I'm like, all right, let me try to help her work her through this and so on and so forth. But then it just got to a point where, as you know what. Helping out your mental health is, messing is damaging up. mine. Exactly. And we got to be mindful and of that. that. Yeah. No. yeah, we got to be mindful of that. And that's why I say um, be healed before you start dating these people, y'all. Um, but I do agree that, you know, some of those learned behaviors come from our family, um, especially our beautiful black women. They have that um, that layer of protection up and um, can be deemed aggressive. Um, but a lot of times it just comes from their upbringing. So hopefully, um, that changes for her and she can be her feminine self in the future. Oh, um, the, the thing about her. Yeah. She's married. She's Amen. Married now. Amen. Yeah. You know, everybody, yeah. and everybody finds, um, their perfect someone. Um, eventually I hope, you know, I want to find mine. Maybe y'all can pair me on a blind date one day. Y'all. Oh yeah. We might Maybe they, you up. Yeah. No, I don't know. They ain't sound right the way you said it. <laughs> just interview. We just interview several candidates for me, please. We got you. I believe it too. I'll hold you down. We got yeah, you. Yeah, because I'm, you know, I'm bored. I, I think I, I'm really good at picking for everybody else. Um, but I need some kings to help me pick for myself. I'm gonna ask everybody a question. Y'all kind of chime in, and I'll start with um Jamar on this one. Would you say every woman, you're such a leader, King. You're such a leader. Would you say every woman has followed you effortlessly? No. No? <laughs> right. Why? Why or why not? Was it, do you feel like you could have um, led in a better way? Or do you feel like they were just like you not know, going? With that type stubborn. of things, everything is like a learning experience. So mm -hmm. some women ain't really built like that to yeah. really know what's going on. And uh, then some women... I gonna have some that was behind me and all that type of things, and yeah. or it was probably an issue with me or anything like that. So I, I feel like I ain't gonna say every woman was mm -hmm. like good, but they they had a ones. See, I, a couple of them. I, I feel say it was like a lot this. Of them. I feel like this, ladies. <laughs> the same way I say um, our wonderful king should not pursue or um, take the cookie from a woman if they don't deem that woman somebody that they should be. Um, 
they they may have a future with because we don't know. Be real. We don't know. But if, if you don't see a possible future with that woman, leave her alone because you're causing her trauma. I say the same thing um, with the ladies. If this is not a man that you can see yourself following and respecting, don't know how, though. No, then they don't need to be in a relationship. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're right. You're right. Because so, cause some, cause some women want you to leave, right? But they didn't want to tell you which way to go. Yeah. Well, they should be your advisors behind <laughs> closed doors because it is a partnership. I want you to leave. I want you to leave, King, but go right. <laughs> now I'm like, how is that even possible? Like, now, how am I leading? But you? And that's where communication is, is key. If they don't feel like um, you're leading in a proper direction, then yes, they should communicate it at that point. And maybe you, you guys part because... It's all a learning experience. We really don't know until we have that experience. Mm-hmm. Okay. So y'all might face something where it's and, time for y'all to split and that's okay. Communication is key. Go and ahead. Woman, King. And, and a woman got to learn how to be a follower. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Some want to overpower you like, hey. <laughs> yeah. Because, like, because some of them is used to having men that they control. Yeah. And then that's some amazing. men that's uncontrollable. Yeah. Amen. Amen. When you got I your own everything, you uncontrollable. Meaning that you know how when they bring my keys, I'm on the way. Amen. Yeah. So how do you real second. quick, real quick? I'm gonna <laughs> ask all of y'all and kind of chime in. How do y'all feel about dating those powerful, independent? I call them women with independent woman syndrome. I love it. Okay, okay, but if she don't never let you pay for nothing ever, um, oh, if she can't not let me not pay for oh, nothing. Okay, ever. okay, ain't no okay. Such thing. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, I understand. Yeah, yeah that, no that logic is. Yeah. Ain't no okay. such thing as her <laughs> not letting me. Some women just have that pride. Um, yeah, some ain't so. no such thing. You said as, to not let. Yeah, if she's just like well, you know. Usually it's trust issues. She's she doesn't you know. Yeah, but it, of course it's not gonna be even. But what some women don't know is it's some it's some women that can call you while you at work and bring you a make chicken sandwich, right? And we look at that as so powerful and be like, she don't know the next ten meals will be on me next twenty. Oh, okay. Yeah. From a McChicken. See, it's the littlest things. It's the guys. littlest things. But some women little say, I'm not matter. buying him no food. I just met him. Oh. But you only spent $3. Do y'all <laughs> feel like, are men and women equal? That's going to be the final question. Do y'all feel like men, I want each one of y'all to answer this. Uh, We are should be equal, women but women equal? don't think we're equal. Yeah. Well, some, well, I'm not. Okay. Women think so that, let me paint a picture now. If um, this is, I was talking to a pastor um, and a personal trainer in a church, right? Um, we were actually um, training them. Um, and that was a question, are men and women equal? Okay. And the pastor said, if someone break in our house, okay, who going to go to the door? He said, oh, no, men and women are not equal. And this was the his reasoning behind it. He said, who going to go to the door? What, okay. What are equal in certain, in certain situations? Mm-hmm. Meaning, yeah, going to the door. Yeah, of course she's not going to the door. Right. But I'm meaning like far as like how women put themselves on the pedestal and make it seem like she's giving you so much more than you're giving her. <laughs> hey Amen. Half the time because they're just spreading them legs a little But, but um, I'm, I mean, here's the thing. I'm giving you something also. We know what you call them, Big Beef Chuck. Wasn't that Chuck <laughs> Beef? Ground Chuck. Ground USDA Chuck. USDA it was approved. one of them. USDA I ain't approved. me right now, so I don't know. <laughs> It was one of them, okay. Yeah, she could be. Yeah, she could be a vegan. Only meat she might like is yours. Amen. To <laughs> that. <laughs> Amen to that. Listen, I can't wait um, yeah, for my husband that, to come into my life. Though, yeah. yeah. Well, I will say this. My personal opinion is, I feel like uh, men and women are valued equally, yeah. but they just have different roles, yeah. and That's my true. role is not less important than yours and this is my argument with this pastor because he he said no they're not equal in front of his wife his beautiful wife and i'm just sitting there four foot eleven like yes they are we are equal um but again our roles are different Wes, go ahead chime in king and she and she said what well she just stood she just stood there and said nothing and said nothing and, and and but you know what they have an absolutely beautiful relationship he's leading in the right direction as a, a wonderful man of god and pastor um, and she trusts her her husband, and maybe they had words like I would have been. I would have had words behind Did she closed look doors. Funny? I don't think so. <laughs> I wouldn't even do that to my husband. I wouldn't even, and unless it's a comical, you know, discussion, um, I would make a joke out of it. But you know, my he that's king. Behind closed doors, we'll talk about it because you know you know who wear the pants in this relationship <laughs> and the leggings. Okay. <laughs> Um, yeah. Leather so here <laughs> well, here's, here's the thing leather. though. It's nothing it's nothing wrong with letting a woman leave, but it's no. certain situations. I don't 
want like, to like be. For instance, I want to be the woman. Like, for instance, you on vacation. I'm going Your woman them. might say, no, baby, no, we ain't going to go there. We're going to go here. Yeah. And you might be like, yeah, you know what? Exactly. It's certain situations I'm going to let her lead on. You, you don't know want no dumb bunny that ain't yeah. got no input yeah. at all. And it's she certain- just... It's certain situations that she that she now. specializes in, but I'm gonna let her exactly. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> I do all that. Well, I will say this: I'm not going to go anywhere that I, I'm not going to follow somebody um, in a direction I don't think we should be going in. So that's me. If I feel like I'm gonna follow you as long as I trust where you're going, and I know you know where you're going. Okay. Okay, okay but in, in, in the same breath, you also gotta realize that you are leading if you're advising. Yes. Oh, of course. We're a leader. Yeah. partnership. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Strong leader in this oh, yeah. little but body. Sometimes, like you said, it is it is a good thing to fall back. Yeah. If she falls or trips, you got it. Oh, I like that. Was that yeah. on camera? Yeah. Oh, yes. Hold them hands yeah, out. The kings. Right. Right. The kings. Because <laughs> okay, you got to let her be free. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Miss 411. Yeah, you yeah. straight. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. But sometimes you try it. It didn't work. Let me handle this. Yeah, Amen. yeah, right. But sometimes Ooh, you got to let them because, you know, you could be driving with a woman and y'all on the highway and you saying, baby, it's right. I know where I'm going. I don't sitting, like, I she back. can't <laughs> have that spirit, I watch, though. I watch that's Detroit. Good. I watch Detroit. And then I'm sitting back. And that's, and I think that's probably my problem because <laughs> I'm like my father in the sense uh, I can get very sarcastic and be like, man, well, okay, I guess it was supposed to be 15 minutes ago, man, but talking 30, like, oh, well, okay, well, be damn 30. <laughs> <laughs> and then guess what she going to say? Man, Why you right. ain't tell Man, me? You was right, and then you sit there and you look at you. Like, they ain't gonna never say you. They ain't gonna never say you have the right one, right. but they might. You have the one that'll be like, you know what? Oh, so you oh, so you telling me I was wrong all this time? I'm like I ain't saying no. I'm just saying now once, it went from fifteen to thirty. So. Amen. <laughs> now once again, I desire to be. I desire to be better um, in all things at all times. So. If my man knows better and he don't correct me, we're going to have a problem. Why you ain't tell me? Why if, you ain't tell me? What if I tried to correct you and you said you got it? Now, that's you that's say, a different say, story. I and I hope this. she apologized. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to sit back just like this. Amen. And that's just a respect level. Oh, I, love up, right? I love it. I love it. When you mess up and then you're going to say, man, you was right. I'm going to say, see, I, I mean. I got you. But I'm not I got gonna, you. I'm not going to keep going. You ain't gonna beat her up but over right, here. Right. Like, uh, you know, okay. Yeah. You can't throw it. You can't throw it in their face. Experience. That's gonna turn it to right, something on, different. Let's, let's, <laughs> before we get about this car. All right. Then they might All say, right. "Well, you should have drove." All right. All right. <laughs> Since so, you know everything, it, it, right? Let's go start to a different argument. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Facebook. Oh, <laughs> 51 like, 50 second like, keep yeah. going. Amen, <laughs> right. amen. Dating in um, 2022 with purpose, dating with purpose, y'all, in 2022. I just want to thank you all for coming on this uh, show and shining y'all light on these specific topics, y'all. Um, I really feel like, I really hope um, that our listeners, you know, kind of um, got some things from this. Uh, my personal opinion Again, fellas, if you feel like that's not the, the queen for, for you, a man of integrity will leave the cookies in the jar. Ladies, I know you probably feel like um, that you can date and be intimate with people without those emotional connections, but that's not how God created us. Um, you're damaging yourselves further. And, um, you know, dating in 2022, y'all, we we going to let it flow. Um, and I think we should be growing and learning from each other's experiences, um, each other's experiences. So I appreciate y'all for sharing y'all experiences with Lachelle. Um, and I hope everyone really, you know, I, I hope uh, this positivity begins to trend a little bit more. We ain't talking about cheating. We ain't talking about lying, stealing um, or none of that stuff. We talking about um, development um, and betterment. So. I hope it helps someone. It certainly helped me. I've been surrounded by King Energy this evening, so I appreciate y'all. Anybody want to say anything um, before we let the people get back to their evenings and I drink my tea? Anything yeah. at all? Any any two cents y'all want to add? All right. Tune in next week. <laughs> <laughs> and let Lachelle pair you on a blind date. Yay! All right. And- Ruffle Feathers Podcast. We whoop, back. Whoop. We coming back, baby. We whoop, back. Whoop. You know okay. what I mean? Look, look at y'all. Look, we Maybe back. Maybe y'all have me on there so I can ruffle some oh, feathers. Oh, yeah. We need you on there, definitely. Yeah, we back. Have me as you know a guest on there, y'all. Definitely. Some definitely. If I, y'all want to work out, hit me up. 
Yeah, listen, y'all finna see <laughs> my new serious. body yada yada after um training with Jamar. Okay, he gonna get me together. He gonna get me together, Mister um, Xavier Antonio. Any uh any sense that you wish to add? He said, mm -mm, <laughs> "All right, so we gonna talk later." Well, I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all again for uh, giving me this um just you know presenting y'all king energy um i appreciate y'all presence thank y'all for tuning in with shine your light podcast i love y'all see you later